So, welcome to our first experiment in this training simulation program. Uh, we're going to look at uh, some of the free ones and a cylinder load experiment. So, select that from the drop down list and we get what looks like a fairly similar circuit, simple circuit, but it's really the loads. The loads are always the most complicated item. And if you don't understand your loads, then you can't understand how the circuit's working or what's happening here. So if we click on the, the rod, that brings up our load panel, and we can see we've got quite a lot of mass, but it's acting with the cylinder horizontal, so it's not having any effect on the system. Uh, we'd have to put a force onto the system for a constant load, and we've got some friction. Um, but if we look on the uh, cylinder itself, we can see there's very little pressure and uh, very little flow. There will be some flow. We've got flow coming through here, so we'll have a back pressure on the uh, reservoir. Uh, the half to one is just a resolution issue, but if we click on the rod again, we can now increase around 90 degrees. So what we can see now is we've put some pressure on the bore side. We've got our uh, values here. So we've got pressure in the bore and the flow and the cylinder is actually moving. Uh, we can see the speed if we uh, move our indicator, our test gauge to there. So what's happening now is the cylinder is gradually creeping one way. So again the loads are really key and you have to look at the load in standby, in startup conditions, in failure conditions, maintenance conditions. How is it going to perform? Is that safe to the operators? Uh, we can just increase, goes up and down, and now again going down we've got a warning here of negative annulus pressures because we're not controlling the speed out, so when we open up uh, the valve, the cylinder tends to, the load tends to force downwards and just fall automatically, which will suck uh, suck pressure in here, suck flow in and cause negative pressures. Negative pressures cause far more damage than positive ones, so you really have to be aware uh, and cautious not to create those. And that, of course, depends on the load. Uh, you may or may not get them, depending on how your load works. So if we uh, just increase the cylinder again. We may like to change the centre condition here. So we put AB to tank. So this now we've got a less restricted centre condition here. If we had the uh, closed so open centre condition there, we've got restrictions here. So there's still some leakage here and we could still get negative pressures um, in the annular side even in that condition. That still may well cause damage uh, depending on the detail of tank pressures and such. So, uh, but if we select A to B to tank, we don't get any negative pressure so much in these conditions, but the cylinder falls straight down, uh, which again could be dangerous. You need to know how you're using it uh, to know whether that's going to be a good or a bad thing. And of course now we've got our pump on full pressure. So what you can do to start off with is to set your loads, understand your load, put it into here and then you can experiment and start building your circuits but certainly try different loads, see what happens, try different centre conditions, different valves and see how the loads change in the circuit just under standby and operating conditions.